Hello friends, today I will discuss the speed control of three phase slip ring induction motor using a rotor EMF injection. In the rotor EMF injection method, the salient features are like this. This method is useful only to the wound rotor three phase induction motor. In this case, it is necessary to inject a voltage into the rotor circuit whose frequency is same as that of the slip frequency that is S into F. Here S means slip, F is supply frequency. The third feature is the EMF can be injected by various methods such as Kramer system or ZBS system. The fourth point is there is no restriction to, to the phase of injected EMF with respect to the original EMF of the rotor. The another feature is by changing the phase of the injected EMF into the rotor, the speed can be controlled. The another advantage of this rotor induced EMF, uh, injected EMF is that the speed of the rotor can be obtained above normal. Also, it is possible to get below normals. And this is the rotor circuit of the three phase slip ring induction motor. This is the three phase winding of the rotor circuit. And this is the shaft. And these are the slip rings which will rotate with the rotor or shaft. And the windings are connected to the slip rings and slip rings the other side have the stationary brushes like this. These brushes are connected to the stationary terminals like this and this is the supply injected using Serbia's method or Kramer's method into the rotor circuit. These are the, th this is the three phase AC supply and whose angle can be changed with respect to the original induced EMF in the rotor circuit. And uh, taking this and the original induced EMF in the rotor, resultant induced EMF will be obtained and that resultant induced EMF will decide the, the speed of the rotor. So let us see the equations. We know the rotor induced EMF frequency, FR is nothing but S into F. Here F is supply frequency that is supply connected to the stator of the three phase induction motor and S is the slip of the induction motor. Then the full load torque of the three phase induction motor is written as K into S into ER square divided by R2. Here K is the constant and S is the slip. ER is the resultant voltage in the rotor circuit. So normally a rotor resistance is constant so the, the full load torque equation will become TFL is equal to K1 into S into ER square. So when we look at this here S into R ER square means S is inversely proportional to the ER square. So then we also know the slip is known as NS minus N divided by NS. So from this rotor speed or motor speed can be written as N is equal to NS into 1 minus S. So by controlling the slip, the speed of the rotor can be maintained. So to, to maintain this slip, ER should be varied. So by varying the injected EMF and uh, the resultant uh, 
EMF in the rotor circuit will decide the slip and the slip will decide the rotor speed. Suppose if the resultant EMF in the rotor circuit increases, then the slip decreases because they have the inverse inversely relationship. So once slip reduces, speed increases that you can see here. So once slip increases means this 1 minus s reduces means speed increases. Ns increases Ns into a bigger number means speed increases. Similarly, if er reduces, that is resultant emf in the rotor circuit reduces, in that case slip increases. Once slip increases from this equation, it can, it can be observed that speed can be reduced. These are the two things that comes into picture in this method. So to get this year value, there are totally four methods available is position of the year. Case one is suppose the injected EMF and the original induced EMF in the rotor circuit are in phase with each other. Means here E is induced EMF in the rotor circuit in the rotor and this is the vector for that and let us say the injected EMF from the ex external source into the rotor circuit is EI with this magnitude like this and uh, it can be observed that this E and EI they are in phase with each other so the resultant voltage of the rotor circuit will become E plus EI so the vector becomes a bigger vector like this that is ER is equal to EI plus E. Once ER increases then automatically slip reduces. Once slip reduces speed increases which can be observed with this equation that is N is equal to NS into 1 minus S. So ER increased slip reduced means S reduces here. Once S reduces means automatically slip the rotor speed increases. Next case 2. Suppose the injected EMF into the rotor circuit have the 180 degrees with respect to the original induced EMF in the rotor that is E like this. This is the original induced EMF in the rotor circuit that is E and this is the injected EMF externally into the rotor circuit with this direction means the angle between this and this is 180 degrees then the resultant EMF in the rotor circuit becomes ER that is E minus EI. So the resultant induced EMF or the rotor circuit reduced means uh, this value is reduced compared to the previous value means slip increases. Once slip increases means speed decreases that can be observed, observed with this equation that is n is equal to ns into 1 minus s there is a third case the injected induced emf or the injected emf in the, into the rotor circuit is in the same direction as that of the original induced emf e but making with with that with certain angle like this. This is the original induced EMF vector and this is the injected EMF but making an angle with respect to E like this then the resultant induced EMF or the resultant voltage in the rotor circuit is nothing but vector sum of this and this that it becomes like this ER. That is ER is equal to E plus EI. So since ER increased here increasing means slip reduces so slip uh, the speed increases which can be observed from this equation n is equal to ns into 1 minus s so s reducing means speed increases similarly there is a fourth case where here the external induced emf ei 
will oppose the original induced EMF in the rotor circuit, capital E, like this, but makes an angle like this with respect to E, like this. Then the resultant EMF in the rotor circuit is nothing but vector sum of E and this EI. In that case also, ER reduces compared to the first case. So then slip increases, then rotor speed decreases, which can be observed from the equation N is equal to NS into 1 minus S. Let me summarize once this rotor induced EMF or the injected EMF in the rotor circuit will increase the rotor speed above the normal, will also reduce the speed below the normal speed. So by changing the position of the external injected EMF with respect to the original EMF of the rotor that is E, the speed can be slightly increased or slightly decreased or can be made uh, speed above the normal and below the normal 